Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So you may have noticed we missed a week of videos. Um, last week was sort of short on uh, progress and uh, I had a few missed days. So I decided to, to skip it instead of giving you a really short video and instead giving you a longer video this week. So this week includes the last couple of weeks of work and we've made tons and tons of progress. Um, you saw pictures of our uh, fuel tank leak tests. So both tanks have had their leak down tests done. And uh, we're moving on to wing ribs. Uh, it's funny, you can see the tank in the back um, slowly moving down the chair. The, the chair. But anyway, so I am deburring, um, I believe it's 30, uh, so 15 per side, different wing ribs. And I think each one takes me maybe five to 10 minutes. So it's it's a good amount of time um, deburring ribs. Um, I'm also deburring, you can see there's a bunch of small parts. Those are the uh, um, aileron brackets. Um, I have two different sets of aileron brackets because there was a service bulletin on the aileron brackets that uh, came out a couple of years ago that basically replaced the inboard aileron bracket uh, in the RVs. So I have two sets and it took me a little bit of looking at the plans and figuring out, okay, what of these parts that look very similar do I have to assemble? But anyway, it came together. So what you're seeing in the back there is we f uh, put the seal to the rear baffle onto what I believe is the left tank. And we're riveting it on now, uh, a lot of pro seal, a bit messy, uh, but it's, it's come together and it's sealed up. And that one is going to sit for um, a week or two, and then we're going to do the actual pressure test on it. So we're going to fill it up with uh, pressurized air. Um, we, you use a uh, like an inflatable like party balloon um, as your pressure relief. You'll see the, the video for that so probably next week is my guess. Um, and then we pressure test that. The one in the back, uh, there you go, it's actually being leak tested right now as we play with the... Um, spar a little bit there. Uh, so we're finally putting the spar, I believe that's the left spar, up on the stand. You can see it's bowed a little bit um, because it doesn't have any of its structure there. Um, it's it's fairly heavy. I would say that's maybe 20 pounds, um, 20, 40 pounds, something like that for that spar. And uh, there's just a couple of little clicos and ribs and the tie-down spot right there, which you saw us working on. Um, so a few doodads. Um, and a lot of deburring, right? A lot of fiddly bits. So that's the, the bracket for the rear spar, wing rear spar um, that uh, gets deburred. You can see Mary bring me pizza. <laughs> and uh, all, you know, like all these little, little bits that we're working on getting cleaned up and just getting ready for, um, you know, initial assembly, right? We, you mount it all on the wing, you check that everything fits right. You do, you know, you drill all the holes to size so that they match up. And then, you know, we disassemble everything, clean them up again, prime them, and then put them back on the plane. So this is the first step of getting the parts somewhat assembled and somewhat ready and mostly deburred. Um, and that's what we're doing here. So there's gonna be a lot of priming coming up. You're gonna see a lot of fumes that, uh, Hopefully I don't breathe too much of. You can see us cleaning them there. Uh, we use pre-coat to clean them. Uh, pre-coat is almost a soap-like um, spray. You spray it down, you scuff it with Semsolve. I'm sorry, not with Semsolve. You scuff it with uh, maroon Scotch-Brite and, uh, and then you rinse it off um, and it sort of foams up um, just like a soap. And um, then you can, once it dries, you can prime. Um, Feel free to give me crap about not wearing my respirator when I should be wearing the respirator. You can really see the the cloud, right, that that creates in the room of of primer. So much overspray. And that's with the doors fully open. And I also have the fan going in the window in that room, pushing, pressurizing, pressurizing, um, adding a slight amount of uh, positive pressure in the room to hopefully get most of the uh, overspray out, but still makes a makes a big mess. Um, so here we go. So we're doing the first fitment of the ribs on the on the spar. I should move that spar. I think I'm going to flip it around so that you guys get a better view of it um, for the next couple of videos. Um, so we primed 
the ribs that have uh, flat brackets on them because I wanted to be able to rivet those in place. So those are the ones that are uh, sort of that green tint are the primed ones, and you can see that there's brackets attached to the ends of them. Uh, those are really burly um, flat brackets. I want to say those uh, those uh, little pieces of aluminum are an eighth of an inch thick. Um, so they're they're pretty burly. Uh, you can see me deburring the, that's the rear spar for the wings. So there's the front spar, which is the anodized one, and the rear spar, which sort of holds the back of the ribs in place, and all of the brackets, and then all the control surfaces get attached to those brackets. So it's it's part of the structure of the, of the airplane there. And it's got a bunch of stiffeners that you can see me match drilling. Um, the stiffeners I had previously primed um, because they were handy. And... Uh, so you basically click it in place, match drill everything, you know, sort of do that initial fitment of the brackets and the hold downs and things like that. And uh, then disassemble everything and, <laughs> and uh, take it all apart, clean it, deburr it again, because you drilled holes and created little burrs, taking a break, <laughs> and, uh, and then we prime it again. So there's a lot of, you know, over and over working on things, priming them, and putting them back together. But it's nice to see sort of big structures coming together again, right? It's, we had the, I think the tail cone was the last one. It's a lot of fun to build because it's it's immediately an airplane part, right? It looks like a big airplane part. And now the wings are getting there as well, right? Like they're, they're a big airplane part. Um, and we've gotten through, you know, now that the ribs are deburred, right? I mean, that's that's honestly fairly miserable because it's very repetitive. And it takes forever to do each one. And each of those ribs have so many um, tasks that you have to do on them, right? So you can see me there. Um, I'm uh, adjusting the angle of each of the uh, the flanges um, because the way they're stamped, the flanges aren't perfectly 90 degrees. So I have to go for each one of the 30. I have to manually, you know, like hand adjust each of the flanges so that they're 90 degrees, um, and each of those has one, two, three, four, five, six flanges. It's it's a bit of a pain. <laughs> um, and then there's holes to be drilled in each of those, and different ones have holes in different places, right? Because I, I need to make holes to put little, um, oh, more priming, uh, holes to, to run wire conduit through, and I need holes to put the pitot and AOA tubes through, and... The holes only go so far for the pitot and AOA, and they're only in one wing and not in the other, but the conduit is in all of them for both wings. It's a bit of a hassle. <laughs> so here we go. This is the second big set of priming that I'm doing. So now I'm priming everything else, right? You can see the rest of the ribs, the other, you know, 20-some ribs that uh, were left over there. So I'm priming all of those, and I'm also priming, priming both the rear spars, and I'm also doing a couple of touch-up primes on some parts that I didn't like. I think one of the flap brackets, I didn't like how the, the primer came out. So I basically sanded it back down um, and reshot primer on that. So <laughs> a bit of work, but it's it's we're making incredible progress. I think now it, it really feels like, oh, oh, Easter egg, just missed it. Now it really feels like we're we're getting somewhere. Um the, I heard from, from Vans that our Fuse kit went to crating this week. So hopefully that means uh, sometime in October, I'm guessing late, very late October, we're going to receive the Fuse kit, which I think is actually perfect timing because I've got maybe, depending on you know how efficient we are here, maybe three weeks worth of work. Uh, we're now, yep, you can see us riveting the ribs onto the wing spars. So the the ribs on the 10 get rivets and bolts, which is really sort of interesting. There were no, I don't remember there being bolts on the nine. So I spent a lot of time with those, getting those bolts just right, because they're each a different length. But anyway, thanks for watching, more videos to come, and uh, we'll see you soon.